quick video um, showing you how I'm going to paint my parking sensors. So these come in, these are from Park Safe flush mounting sensors. Um, come in a silver colour, couldn't find the correct colour for my car, so I'd have a go at painting them. Um, my colour, my car, I think it's uh, Lava Grey LZ7L, something like that. So the process that I'm going to use for this is these are already painted and, and have clear coat on them or lacquer. So what I'm going to do first is get um, some wet and dry paper, this 2000 grit. I'm going to sand this down um, just so it's got a good surface to key onto. And then I've got some grey plastic primer. I'm going to use that. I'm going to do probably two coats, a light coat and then a slightly heavier coat. Um, doesn't really matter if it's plastic primer or not because these are only small so if you use normal primer it would probably be fine and then um, I've got some um, LZ7L paint which should match the colour of my car I'm hoping so I'm going to do the same again um, a lighter layer and then a heavier layer two coats and then same again with the clear lacquer. So, first of all, just going to with the wet and dry. Um, I'm just going to do this while it's dry. Just key these so the surface is nice. So I'll just finish with the 2000 grit. You sort of aiming for a fairly matte finish. Again, these are small, so you, you don't really have to do it too much. Just for a good surface. Um, to get the primer down onto. So next thing, I have found these. You don't need to go out and buy these, but I found them in my garage. So paint prep wipes. Um, just use anything to you know, get them nice and clean um, and make sure it's not wet at all because the next step will be to put primer on. So you want to make sure there's you know no debris, anything like that. Try and get a good finish. So I'll just clean them and then we'll move on to the next bit. Right, so just cleaned them, um, and what I've actually done here in the kit that I've got for these parking sensors, there's a hole saw and drill for drilling out your bumper. So I've just used that with my hand and cut um, the holes into this cardboard box just so you can push these so they're flush, just so you haven't got to mask them off. And I think you'll be able to get good coverage this way and get a nice finish. Um, so now I'm going to put a light. Uh, dusting of the plastic primer down first um, and then leave that to dry and then we'll go with a with a heavier layer. So I've just done the first light coat. Um, I'm gonna give it 10 minutes and then give it a slightly heavier coat and hopefully we'll be able to get into sort of the, the middle here where some of the primer hasn't actually got onto. So just leave it for 10 minutes and I'll put the other layer down. Right, so I've just put the second coat down, a little bit thicker this coat, and you can see, sort of tried to get right in the middle there. Um, so all of it is, is primed now, and I'm going to leave that for probably half an hour or so before I put the first layer of colour down. Probably should leave it longer, but I'm not going <laughs> to, so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I've just put the first layer actually a few minutes ago put the first coat of colour down it's not too bad the f finish is good but the only parts where it's not so good is right sort of in the, the crevice there of the actual sensor uh, hard to sort of get a smooth layer down and get some paint in, in that area as well but it's quite hard to notice anyway so I'm not overly concerned about that so just let that dry Put another coat down. Um, I'm only going to do two coats and then leave that to dry and then I'll be putting a light coat of lacquer and then a heavier coat. Okay so I'll just let this dry and put a second coat down. So just finished both the coats of lacquer. Put a heavier one on to finish. Hard to sort of get a glimpse of them at the minute because they're still drying. But um Probably let them dry for a day and then uh, have a look at how they turned out.
hopefully I won't have to do them again. So they've just finished drying. Um, I've got this one out. Might be hard to sort of tell, but it's not a bad finish at all, really. You can see again, it was hard to get the paint sort of in crevice between the sensor and then the outer housing. Um, but they've come out pretty nice, to be honest. And sort of checked it against the car, and it's a pretty good match. So um, it's been drying for a few hours. So what I'll do is let them fully cure for the night. And then probably some point in the next few days be fitting these to the car. But yeah, they haven't come out too badly at all. Hope this might help any of you thinking about doing it. Cheers.